So I picked up at Dollar General this Pro Essentials laminated steel padlock. Uh, one and three quarters, made in China. Case hardened steel shackle. Pin tumbler security. Check it right there in bold black and white. Pin tumbler security. Not your regular run of the mill kind of security. It's the pin tumbler version. Anyway, these are probably, who knows, probably come from the same factory as Bunker Hill or Brinks, whatever. So let's open it up. So here's the thing. I've been playing with this for a bit, <clears throat> and I did open it once or twice. But since then, I think it's such a cheap-ass lock that, and I've, I've seen this online, that it can be pick-resistant simply because of the, of the crappiness of the quality control. Just It's just so low quality. And I cannot break this thing. I've got these you know, cheap Chinese picks, but I've also got these sparrows. These are... Palmer Wave uh, brakes and um, let's try a uh, sort of worm. The funny thing is, when I rake it, I can actually, I, it seems like it actually opens, but it's such a lousy design or it's so low quality that it doesn't pop open. I can actually feel the shackle move out slightly and I have sometimes a hard time to even opening it see that's jammed now I have a hard time opening it with the keys see now it's moving it was jammed before so these are not as easy somewhat Pick resistant because they're so crappy. I find that hilarious. I opened it with a city rake a few times. I got the cheapo city rake, but again, it's like it'll open, but not pop open. And after I opened it once or twice, um, picked it or raked it open, now it just doesn't seem to want to. And it's, <laughs> it's so low quality that I screwed it up by raking it a few times. I guess that wouldn't surprise me. Let's make sure the key works. Key opens it. Again, let's uh, yeah, did you hear that? It popped open or it popped. It's open, but it's not opening. There again, I can feel something let loose, but I just, it's just not popping open. Hmm. Let's try the quintuple peak. Again, I felt the shackle move outward, but it's just not opening. So for five bucks, <laughs> because of the shit design,
maybe just maybe it has good security there again I felt the shackle come out that's just not wanting to pop fully Let's try a uh, 15 thousandths worm. Well, anyway, there you have it. I'm going to get medieval on this in a minute because I got my snap gun. Hold on. Okay, let's see how this goes. And again, I, I like to open it with the key first just to make sure. See, it will not turn with the key. Mm. And it is, it is jammed. Definitely some security. Not the way they intended to have security, but. Wow. Yeah, that shackle is absolutely. There we go. What a piece of shit. Absolute brilliance in their shittiness. Okay. Well, let's try. What kind of tensioner can I use? I don't have an expensive Sparrows one. Again, another cheapo. You need cheapo with cheapo. nothing anyway here's the bidding which doesn't matter four pins crap again stuck <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you piece of shit absolute jammed there well the bunker hill ones were so much easier those were also i think five bucks at harbor freight this was uh, again dollar general and you know it's the quality when it says on the key china i mean that is the shit so let's try again with some even with these Thin uh, with this, I don't know what that is, maybe 20 thousandths uh, city rake. Yeah, it's just not, it's not gonna, let's see. That's jammed again. I might spray some stuff in there. Uh, I know Bosnia and Bill sprayed WD-40 in there. And it's supposed to supposedly a no-no, but. Let's 
See, that looks like it's... <laughs> Boy, that looks like that keyway's turned, but it's just not opening. It is so low quality. And of course, I'm a complete noob, so I guess maybe the advice to noobs is to get a decent lock first. And I started off with stuff I had around, and of course the stuff's been around for 30 years, and the pins are binding up, and it's <laughs> maybe just go to Home Depot and get a brand fresh, you know, uh, master lock, number three or something. Anyway, I was able to rake it open a couple of times. I should have caught it on the on video, but I didn't. I did it before I even uh, took, took the keys off the shackle. But I cannot do it now. Maybe I'll give an update later.